Hey everybody, I recently received a question from one of my YouTube viewers regarding a basic surface design question. Here's the question. I use the 3D sketch tool to create two joint triangles. One's on the top plane, the other's on the front plane. The two triangles share a line. I want to convert them into two triangle surfaces. How can I do this? All right, let's figure this out. Well, for intermediate users, this is an easy breezy task. For newcomers, this question provides an opportunity to explain and demonstrate some of the structural thinking that needs to underpin your geometry when you're working with surfaces. We're going to the sketch tab of a new part document and we'll create a 3D sketch. Let's activate the line tool first. We're going to sketch a triangle on the top plane. The first thing I'm going to do is double click on the plane to make it visible in the graphic area. So once I've double clicked on it in the tree, I can see it in the graphic area even when I'm moused off of it. And of course, if I can see it while I'm sketching, it makes it a little bit easier to sketch out this simple geometry. Here's the three lines of my triangle. Press down the control key on your keyboard and select the front plane. Apply an on-plane relation. All right, let's proceed with the second triangle. I'm going to sketch this geometry on the front plane. When we double click on the front plane in the tree, we make it visible in the graphic area also. Let's activate the line tool. To place this triangle, we'll snap to some points on our first triangle. Now instead of snapping the final point of my second triangle to the final point of the first triangle, let's snap it somewhere on the line. We can exit the line tool by right clicking and selecting select. Let's review what we've created. We've got two triangles. One belongs to the front plane. The other belongs to the top plane. Let's exit our sketch and let's go to the surfaces tab. Now if we try to create surfaces from this geometry at this point, it's just not going to work. Let's try it out with the filled surface tool. So basically nothing happens. SolidWorks can't execute the command. Like all design and engineering work, there's many ways to solve this problem, and what I'm going to do is create two more sketches. Let's start by inserting another sketch on the front plane. Actually, let me do it on the top plane instead. So right-click, Sketch, Activate Convert Entities. Let's select the three lines of our first sketch, and then click Accept in the Tool Property Manager. Now we'll be able to create a planar surface easily. I've got a couple options for creating the second triangle. One is to use the Split Entity tool, and that's located under Tools on the main menu strip, Sketch Tools, Split Entities. I can split this line just like this. Now I can grab this point and snap it over here. So that's one option. I'm going to undo these last two actions with the keyboard shortcut Control-Z. I just wanted to show you how to use that split tool for this. Let's insert a second sketch on the front plane this time. Now let me activate the line tool, and I'll sketch a triangle with a series of three lines that are coincident to the one beneath. So in effect, I'm just going to replicate my first triangle. Let's exit our sketch. We're back to the Surfaces tab. I'm going to hide the 3D sketch with a right click and click on the glasses icon. Now let's activate the Filled Surface tool. I'll select Sketch 1 and click Accept. Let's activate the tool again, and this time I'll select Sketch 2 and click Accept. Take a look at our Feature Manager design tree. Two surface bodies. They are Surface Fill 1 and Surface Fill 2. We're going to knit these two surface fills together. Let's activate the Knit tool, select our surface bodies, click Accept. Now we have a single surface, Surface Knit 1. This was a great question for my SolidWorks Tutorials for Beginners series. I appreciate you submitting this. I hope that this was helpful, and good luck with your project.